Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV. So TV screens in general are going up pretty significantly as years goes by, where a 32 inch being a standard about 10 years ago is considered too small right now as people want their screens to be bigger and bigger. So in this video, I'll be reviewing the Hisense 100 L5F laser TV, which has a screen size of 100 inches. So keep watching. Now, just before I go forward, if you guys have missed my video review of the B7100, where I talked about the Hisense as a brand itself, I will leave a link to that video above and also at the description below. So the good news is that for every purchase of this Hisense 100 L5F laser TV, Hisense will be getting their professional technicians to come over to your place to get it installed, which was nice as this eliminates the need of having any anxiety of installing the screen itself. Now speaking of the screen, as mentioned, it goes with a total dimensions of 100 inches with measurements of 1272mm wide by 2241mm length, which is about 4.17 feet by 7.3 feet, which means that you have that amount of screen real estate, which was really mind-blowing and the screen is a kind of a linear grating screen and is quite thin at 30mm and is very light at 11kg. Now the panel does not need any electricity to work, therefore it generates zero electromagnetic radiation. So yes, this gives you another solution for a healthier TV watching experience, where Hisense has a certification for their latest laser TV which is 20% more comfortable than reading on paper. So this is indeed a good choice for kids. And not to mention it has the anti-glare properties, a wide viewing angle and on top of that, a rollable screen which means that you can easily transport this but the screen is not suggested to reinstall again and again as it would be best that this is a one-time installation. Now before going into the main device itself, the remote looks very nice, thin and sleek compared to the standard models and like the other Hisense TVs, it has the dedicated buttons for Netflix, YouTube and Prime Video as well. Alright, now let's look at the main device itself which is the laser projector. First, going into the technical specs, it has a quad-core processor with Bluetooth 5.0 with Wi-Fi connectivity both for the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz and it uses the DLP technology with a single laser source with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio with HDR10 support, which was super sweet. Now the lens uses a Fresnel lens technology which in case you guys did not know, it allows the construction of lenses of large aperture with a short focal length compared with the conventional design of the other lenses available out right now. And speaking of the lens, this lens also has the eye protection which dims the whole screen for about 5 seconds and if it senses no motion over there, it will resume the screen. But if the motion sensor still senses someone is still there, it will turn off the screen after the 5 second timer runs out. Now in terms of brightness, it has 2700 lumens value to ensure a very clear image even it is placed in a very bright room as seen over here. And the rough lifespan of the light source is about 25,000 hours or more. So this means if you watch TV for about 6 hours a day, it could last you for over 11 years or so which is of course still depending on your usage and what's cool is that there is the advanced cooling system which has no rust, no leakages which truly helps the lifespan of the laser TV unit. Now as for the input and output points, they are all at the back where you'll find two USB in which supports up to 5 watts which means that you can add any USB external hard drives over there as well. Next to it, there is the service port and the audio in. Below, you'll find a VGA port and down there, there's a total of 4 HDMI port which is capable of giving you 4K display at 60Hz where the HDMI one is the HDMI ARC port. Then at the sides, there's the RCA video and audio in. Then the final bottom row is the second service port, a digital out to support external amplifiers and soundbar 
and also an Ethernet port instead of only getting you connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. Then looking towards another area of the sides, you'll find two antenna ports that supports DVB-T2 digital signal. Then there's the power adapter port down below. And again, I have to say that I love how Hisense has given a better indication on each port, especially on the frame rate values, which was really sweet as it gives the user a better understanding to really know which is the regular and also the ARC HDMI port and even the other ports available as well. Now let's talk about the audio features. You'll find two speakers which is built in in front of the device itself which outputs at 15 watts each and supports Dolby Atmos which again was sweet and Nikem Stereo so this means that you don't have to get an additional speakers but of course it supports a DTS soundbar as well. So the device can be placed either at a TV console as seen over here where you'll only need about a foot away from the wall so you'll have lots of space and yes, you can always mount it on the ceiling and adjust the screen on reverse and you're good to go. Now as for the key features, first of all, since it is a 4K laser TV, it will give you four times the resolution of a typical full HD TV. So if you have always been on a 1080p TV and you're making the switch, you will surely see a huge difference. And speaking of FHD, this TV also has a UHD upscaler which gives a digital upgrade that adjusts the colors and the pixel to simulate the best quality possible to almost matching a resolution of UHD. And since it also supports HDR10 and HLG, it allows you to play HDR content on Netflix or even on YouTube. And to prove that point as seen over here, there'll be additional settings like HDR dynamic at the picture settings that can be adjusted if it is an HDR content as opposed to playing a non-HDR content where the picture mode is standard instead. Then there's a really low input lag below 120 milliseconds which means that this is certainly good news for you gamers out there. So in terms of color accuracy, it has a white color gamut up to 84% which means you'll get an experience super close to live images when consuming content on the screen which is very close and true to life. Now when it comes to the operating system, this particular variant of the 100L5F comes with Hisense's latest Vida 4.0 which makes this a smart TV and not an Android TV so keep that in mind. So if you have never experienced the Vida operating system as mentioned earlier, check out my video of the Hisense B7100 which I went to in detail as the main highlight and the upgrade of the version 4 is firstly a brand new user interface which has a very nice and clean layout with the icons placed at the top left of the area like search source input settings where you can make lots of adjustments over there like picture, sound, network and many more then there's the notifications menu for any notifications like advertising, new arrivals and system messages Next, there is the option for you to create and sign into your Vida account to have a unique profile for your smart TV to get further updates of the latest and the best features. Now looking down at the home screen, what is new over here is the new Vida Art which is powered by Devion Art where there is a collection of very cool arts to use as a background for the screen. Then there's also the pre-installed UFR TV for all you football fans out there. Then under My Apps, there's also the Vida Store which you can download the additional apps if you want to which other smart TVs may not have this feature so that was nice. So overall, I have to say that it was a really nice experience using the Vida 4.0 smart operating system indeed. Now in conclusion, I had a very pleasing experience with this Hisense HE100L5F laser TV. It is a highly recommended laser TV where you'll surely get a TV which will last you for a really, really long time as this laser TV is best to consume any kind of media for the whole family and worthy as a future investment as the price for this Hisense 100L5F laser TV is going for 29,999 ringgit and I'll leave links down below for you guys to get the latest updated pricing. 
So guys, with this, do let me know if you have any questions about this laser TV down at the comment section below. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you guys haven't done so. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video. And it's quite thin at 30 mm's. 30 mm's. 30 mm's. And it's quite thin at 30 mm and very light at 100 kg. Huh? 100 kg light, huh? <laughs> Alright, now let's look at the main device. Alright, 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 alright. Staying alive, staying alive, alright. Back streets, back.